edge of this little embankment here and I got a really decent signal. I'm going to let you listen to it. Real solid, 1234. That's really solid and about six inches down. All right, let's go get it. All right, we're finally down to it. It was a little deeper than six inches. It was down here about eight or nine inches. A little larger than a bullet or a button. Yeah, it's part of a lamp, old oil lamp. A little burner adjuster, wick adjuster. Looks like it's missing the end of it. I'll search around in there, see if I can't find it. Boy, that came up really nice signal though, didn't it? It was down there a good eight inches. Part of the Union camp, I'm sure. All right, only about three inches down in that hole. I just dug this little rivet. Looks like it might be period. From the old Union camp, perhaps. There you go. Penny signal, six inches down. There's a boot heel plate with a star. I've never seen one with a star. I've dug them with hearts. Well, that's cool. Real sketchy, 12, 34, 35 signal. About six inches down here. I got down, I broke the, some uh, soil open, and I thought I saw something here. There's a lot of rust or something in the hole. But I thought I saw something. Where was it? Right here. No, nope, that's not it. Where is it? Right on top of it. There. Oh yeah. I knew I saw a flash of white. Look at that. Another three ringer that was pulled. That is pretty. Look at that nose. That was definitely wormed. Awesome find. Not everything recovered from this site is related to the Union camp. There's layers of history here, as you'll see in the next couple of clips. Well, I got a 1047 way down there, just kind of one of those thumping signals. About eight, maybe nine inches down. And I got down to it, and guess what we have? Quarter size hunk of silver. Let's see what we've got. Washington. 1944. All right, nice hunk of silver. We'll take it. Now that is a deep hole. Just wanted to show you that. Look. Well over a foot deep. Well over a foot deep. Let's pull this out. Looks like a little makeup compact. This is J and M Brady, Chicago. I don't know if it's just the lid or if it's the whole thing. It's real light, so pretty cool find though. Tell you what, gotta give it up for the E-Track on the depth. That thing was locked in on this one. Well over a foot down. Pretty cool. Okay, time for the paper towel wrap-up after a day at the Union site. Well, this place always seems to give up some goodies, and today was no exception. I did find a few pieces of camp lead, just melted lead from the campfire. I did get that one really nice bullet, another three-ringer that was wormed. You can see where they used their tool on the end of it there to grab it out of the barrel so they could clean their gun at the end of the day. Real nice little three-ringer. I did find this uh, wick adjuster from an old oil lamp. Did not find the dial to it. I wish I would have found the dial. There's a patent date on those dials. 
This one probably would have been, you know, early 1860s would be my guess. The heel plate was a really interesting find. I found this in a part of that property that I hadn't hunted yet. So it was really nice to get over there and find something that could very well be Civil War related. Now the, the heel plates like this were not part of the soldier's uniform, but they did bring their own boots to battle with them. And this is the type of heel plate that was being worn at that time. They had quite often a, a heart or a clover, and then you see the stars every now and then too. This is definitely an old plate. It's very well used. You can see where it's worn at the end there, the very back of the heel is very worn and thin. So there's somebody uh, wore that for a lot of miles. So nice to find that at the, at the Union camp. A couple of miscellaneous brass finds there too, a rivet. Um, and then a couple of decent coins here. I've got three wheat pennies, the oldest one being a 36. And the nice silver quarter came out 1944, no mint mark. So another surprise piece of silver out there. Layers of history, gang. And here's this makeup case here. Uh, J and M Brady, uh, Chicago. Something like that. Probably a rouge or compact top lid. Can't find any information on it, but if anyone knows anything about that, just uh, let me know. Hey, thanks for joining me out there, gang. We'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.